And we have an update on the cold case arrest that brought closure to a decades old murder. Today, the pastor accused of killing an eight year old girl was brought back to Delaware County to face justice. NBC 10's Johnny Archer has the new developments. On Thursday, David Zanshara extradited back to Delaware County from Georgia. The 83 year old looking almost bewildered as media cameras captured state police escorting him in handcuffs as he faces charges in a murder that happened almost five decades ago. This is a 48 year old cold case, as you know, uh, where David Zanshara gave a statement to our wonderful state troopers and that has led to his arrest today. The Delaware County District Attorney announced over the summer that Zanshara sexually assaulted and murdered eight-year-old Gretchen Harrington in 1975. Investigators say Zanshara was a family friend and a reverend at Trinity Christian Reform Church where Gretchen's family attended. Investigators say the little girl was walking from her Marlboro Township home to Bible school when she disappeared. Her body found weeks later in Ridley Creek State Park, but the mystery behind her death would last for decades. We had hoped when we wrote the book that someone's memory would be jogged. Um, someone might come forward with some information. Joanna Falcone Sullivan co-wrote a book about Gretchen's murder that was released in October of 2022. Several months later, Falcone Sullivan says a woman came forward to police about vital information pointing to Zanstra as the suspect. Investigators say the book helped solve the case. I'm hoping, you know, justice will be served. I'm hoping that the family will find some some peace, you know, some answers to the questions they've probably had for 48 years. It's been years since Sancho has had any affiliation with Trinity Church, but the Delaware County District Attorney says since announcing Sancho as the main suspect, people have been calling in about other possible crimes he's committed in other parts of the country. People who have contacted the church from different states where Zanstra later preached, uh, and there may be other charges in other jurisdictions. A haunting history of the church as Zanstra now faces new legal hurdles in the future. Johnny Archer, NBC 10 News.